Hey everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. This time I'm going to be focusing on the hive guard. The hive guard are deceptively useful. Um, at first I was looking at them and I'm, I'm looking at the, the, the impaler cannon which is nice. I mean, you seem like you would just take them by themselves. It's a range 24, strength 8, AP 4 uh, weapon. It's assault 2, and it has homing, which means you can do indirect fire, and ignores cover, which is really fascinating because uh, it's <laughs> it's not a blast weapon. Uh, that's a good thing because that means you can snap fire this thing. Um, which is which is quite cool, and it and it has homing. So you can, if I'm if I'm understanding it correctly, uh, you can snap fire this thing at units that you don't have LOS on, or or even flyers. Uh, from what I from what I'm understanding it, and it's a soul too. So that's that's actually that's that's quite fascinating. Uh, it's and, and and the strength eight is insta kill on toughness four units, and we know who they are. So I thought that was incredibly useful in and of itself. Um, and the shock cannon, which is their upgrade, range eighteen, strength five, AP five, assault one, blast, haywire. And I'm thinking, well, why would anybody ever take that over and actually pay more points for that over over the Impaler Cannon? Until I tried it out, I tried it out on multiple units, and it's like, yeah, man, yeah, I'm, I'm still taking the Impaler Cannon. You know, it's a blast, but I'm going to take these auto hits on on things. Really, it's auto hits a lot of times. That um, over that. And then I tried it on one type of unit, and 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 and, and I said, now I understand. I had the epiphany, the haywire effect. As far as I know, and I'm sure people will correct me, uh, this is the first time I'm really seeing haywire being used as as a weapon effect instead of as a grenade, and that creates some very interesting scenarios, specifically. It became useful when I started firing it at open-topped vehicles, Dumarks, things like uh, uh, things like that. Because now you combine it, the strength five AP five, that's going to affect the people in the troops in the open-top vehicle. But when it comes down to de damaging the vehicle itself. You just roll haywire. That's pretty cool when you think about it. There's lots of and, – and, and, and if you manage to somehow hit two vehicles or another one was walkers, uh, viper squadrons, things like that, you can cover multiple ones and they all get the haywire effect. And then for the troops and everybody themselves, well, they get hit by the strength 5 AP5. But here's also the other thing that I found out that's really useful. Land Raiders. Land Raiders. You get a squad of, uh, of, the, of the Hive Guard. Even Land Raiders just trying to drive across the table at you at 18 inches away. Blah, 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 boom. They, they could be hit by an 18-inch basically haywire grenade. Which... Let's just say it was useful. And on top of that, uh, this also then I realized this would add to the to the thorax swarm, the shock grubs, uh, which also then have haywire. This is a haywire on a flamer template. You just lay it down, and anything with an armor value, basically, that you manage to touch gets a haywire hit. And anything else that it touches gets the blast or template effect. So this combo effect is, I think, is unique amongst weapons in the game. Um, or if it is, it's certainly not very common. 
And it's this combo effect of haywire with a standard strength AP of a weapon that, that has become very, very useful, I think, with the Hive Guard that people should look at, especially if you if you think you're going to be fighting a lot of open-topped walker-type vehicles. Um, I hope you find that interesting. At least that's the best combo. Oh, and of course, always you can give them toxin sacks so that any, if anybody does manage to close with them, right, then all of their attacks become poison because they still got a weapon skill 4. So... And, and, and a strength. So that still means you're going to be re-rolling wounds on, you know, all Eldar and Tau and Orcs uh, most of the time. And, of, and on those ones that you don't, well then, you're still going to be wounding on a 4+. Plus. And that, that also goes for the Orcs, I was thinking, with the Haywire. And you can imagine then manage to be hitting trucks and, and things like that and to be able to hit all of them with a strength 5, AP 5, and then the truck itself gets hit by a haywire is is kind of sweet. This can definitely slow down an orc wog very quickly. So that is the use that I see of them. Um, I hope you like it, and look forward to the next video. Thank you for watching.